These are the Daily Tech Headlines for Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024. I'm Rob Dunwood. Disney Plus and Hulu are no longer allowing new or returning subscribers to sign up through Apple. Users who try to subscribe through the iOS apps for each service receive a message stating that in-app sign-up is no longer supported and are directed to finish setting up their account via the web. These changes presumably are to avoid the 30% fee Apple charges for subscriptions through the App Store. Existing users who signed up through the App Store will continue to be billed via Apple. Qualcomm has officially unveiled its next-generation Snapdragon 8 Elite smartphone processor, which sports a 45% performance boost compared to its Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 predecessor. The Snapdragon 8 Elite employs TSMC's 3-nanometer N3E architecture and is said to be up to 44% more efficient than the Gen 3. The Adreno 830 GPU is 40% faster and more power efficient than last year's Adreno 750, allowing for gaming sessions that last two and a half hours longer. We can expect to see the Snapdragon 8 Elite and a host of flagship phones from OEMs including Asus, Honor, iQoo, OnePlus, Oppo, Realme, Samsung, Vivo, and Xiaomi. Despite high-profile gaming executive hires from franchises like Halo, Overwatch, and God of War, Netflix is closing its AAA gaming studio, also known as Team Blue. Netflix got into gaming in 2017 and is best known for its indie and mobile titles, which can be accessed through Netflix's app and played directly on your device. AAA's multi-platform games were much more ambitious and risky and just didn't seem to match up with Netflix's overall streaming strategy. Meta has suspended several threads and Instagram accounts that track private jets of celebrities such as Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Kim Kardashian, and President Donald Trump. Meta provided no direct warning or explanation for the suspensions, but in a statement to TechCrunch said given the risk of physical harm to individuals and keeping in line with the Independent Oversight Board's recommendation, we've disabled these accounts for violating our privacy policy. Meta is testing facial recognition technology to detect celebrity bait scams. The company released a blog post that states, If our system suspects that an ad may be a scam that contains the image of a public figure at risk for celeb bait, we'll try to use facial recognition technology to compare faces in the ad to the public figure's Facebook and Instagram profile pictures. If we confirm a match and determine that an ad is a scam, we'll block it. We immediately delete any facial recognition data generated from ads for this one-time comparison, regardless of whether our system finds a match, and we don't use it for any other purpose. Elon Musk's AI company XAI has launched its first API. The single model Grok Beta is priced at $5 per million input tokens, or 750,000 words, or $15 per million output tokens. It's unclear which Grok model Grok Beta might be. Grok 2 is the very latest on X. The documentation for the API refers to Grok 2 and Grok Mini, a lightweight, more affordable version of Grok. The XAI API supports function calling, which connects Grok models to external tools such as databases and search engines. And although they don't appear to be live yet, the documentation hints at a vision model capable of analyzing both text and images. Meta Smart Glasses are outselling traditional sunglasses in many stores in Europe, even though the company has not yet rolled out multimodal AI features to the block, citing lack of clarity from the regulators in the EU. The Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses are the top-selling product in over 60% of all Ray-Ban stores in Europe, and similar results are seen in the Middle East and Eastern Africa. Ray-Ban Meta Glasses are proving to be a larger success than Meta originally expected. That early traction may have been the factor in Meta expanding its partnership with Accessory or Lexotica into the next decade. And finally, WhatsApp announced a new feature that will allow users to save contact information directly within the app. WhatsApp currently relies on your phone's contact book to send contacts that are using the app. The new feature will let you store contacts on any device, including WhatsApp for the web and Windows. Users will also be able to save contacts by username. The company said in a blog post that usernames on WhatsApp will add an extra degree of privacy so that you don't need to share your phone number when messaging someone. For more discussion of the tech news of the day, subscribe to DailyTechNewsShow.com. And if you enjoy the show, remember to tell a friend and check us out. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.